Hey guys, I have an upcoming project that requires additional ground straps, so I thought I would make a separate video for that. Here are the things I'll need to make these ground straps. This is the completed look of what it's going to be, about a foot long, two ring terminals on each end heat shrunk. I'm using one inch ground straps made of tinned copper flat braid. As you can see, it's got that hole in the middle. I really like that stuff. We got our heat shrink and our ring terminals made of copper. This is our battery cable wire lug crimping tool. We're going to do about 12 inches and we're going to use these cable cutters to cut about one foot. Voila. So here we're going to start with, you always have to put the heat shrink on first. If I can ever get it on there. Slide it back. So then you can slide it back on over the ring terminal when you're done. I just fold it in half and then just kind of wedge them in there. And I do make it parallel to the flat braid. I don't do it like perpendicular. And then I got these huge battery cable wire lug crimping tools. Um, but as you can see, it says number six and number four on the copper ring terminals. But I, I've tried this already, the four and four, and it didn't work out great. So I just got a smaller crimp. Uh, the four gauge, and I think I had good results with it. It's not the prettiest crimp, but as you'll see, it's really strong. I had to like push it against the countertop. Now you got a crimp, won't come off. Not bad. So now just slide that heat shrink over. And this, I like this heat shrink. It's got like a, um, almost like a resin inside that really coats um, everything on the inside so it doesn't uh, get any moisture in there. And I know the braid will bring moisture in and collect it, but I just wanted the connection to be uh, weatherproof. So I'm just hitting it with a lighter, letting heat shrink do its thing. And I know it's very rewarding or satisfying to watch I love heat shrink. I'm just hitting it from both sides, trying to shrink it up. There it is. Not bad. So then I'm going to measure out while well, cooling it off a little bit. It is pretty hot as always. We're going to measure out a foot. I just measure behind the eye, the ring terminal. Doesn't have to be perfect for my situation, but just wanted to be relatively close. So, just grabbing it with my finger there. Marking it with my thumbnail. I'm going to get those battery cable, um, those cable cutters. And make short work of this. Boom. Really clean cut. And then we'll just do the same thing to the other side. More heat shrink. Fold that in half. Get that in there. Makes it fold that in half again. And I'm showing you here, I like the flattest part um, to be on the same side, as you can see. It's not flipped around to the other direction, so fold that in half, just kind of wedge it in there. And then push it until it seats in the end. Wiggle it back and forth if you need to. And then we're ready for the crimp.
these crimping tools are great. They're with the uh, cable cutters, maybe 30 bucks on Amazon, maybe 35. It's great. Really strong connection. Get that heat shrink back over it. Hit it with a lighter. Watch it do its thing. I'm just trying to hit it evenly. Hit both sides. Now I hope this just helps you guys. I, I, I've been watching some channels that have been very informative. I'm just trying to consolidate all this information in one place. Um, everything I learn, I like to spread the word and share with you guys. So I'm pretty happy the way this turned out. You'll see it on the next project on the roof of my truck. There it is, that's both ends completed. Now, I got both. Now I'll be ready for the next project. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Items in my videos are found on my website.